These songs of freedom is all I ever have. Redemption songs. When you write that? All my life. Beautiful. Welcome back to Daytime Live. So last night was the star and literally royal studded red carpet premiere of the Bob, Ma Bob Marley One Love movie at the Carib Theatre. And joining us today to talk about the movie are two stars. Yes, Savannah and Hector Lewis. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah. I just want to say this real quick. I said it earlier, gorgeous last night. Thank that you, dress you had on, Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. I said it looked good too, but she did, she did really stop. I mean, yeah. That's what women do. <laughs> yeah, right? me never think you're going to do no man, a while ago when the music start plays like automatically more I start knock the desk, but you can't do them things when you tell about in a purple. Car, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad. But what I want to ask though is how, how you guys are feeling since last night's premiere. You know, Euphoric. And especially yeah. since it was kicked off in Jamaica. I can't put the feeling into words, but I just feel like it's one of the celebrations you'll never forget. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. It was just yeah. once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, and then yeah, to see yeah. everybody else being celebrated. Yes. It was incredible. I was in their movie theater like, screaming when, when I saw everybody come on to the, yeah. Um, yeah. their yeah. scene and in their characters. So. All right, so as you talk about the scenes, let's talk about the roles that you played. Yes. I want to get really deep, right? Sure. So tell us the roles that you played. We're going to start with Savannah. Mm -hmm. And we also want to know what did you have to do to really get into that character to bring it to screen? Right, right. No, well, I played Judy Mott, right? And what I had to do was a lot of research. It started yeah. off with me meeting her, which I was very grateful, mm -hmm. right? Um, meet her yard. She took me through her house. She showed me the picture wow. of them when me and Holy tour. She sat down and talked with me for over like almost two hours. Wow. Um, she talked about what her motivations were, why music meant as much as it did to her, why she never gave up even after, you know, experiencing really bad contracts and management and how she started her own label. There were a lot of parallels actually between my life and hers. Um, I also watched her mannerisms and how she handles herself, her language, um, a whole heap YouTube video. <laughs> right? See how she performed because she was always the most spirited of the, of the three, right? Yes. She kind of yes. just got lost in it and she'd always be moving more than everybody else. So things like that, how high would she like her head wrap? Um, and she was a very serious woman. Mm -hmm. Actually, Neville Garrick, his main source in peace, mm -hmm. um, on set, he explained to me that, hey, Judy was a serious woman, you know? <laughs> she you know, smile up like that, you know, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, right, right. Um, things like that I took to heart. Um, and just, you know, understanding that this is a legendary character and this is us being part of history, retelling history and the sort of reverence that that asks, um, that, that's what it took. Beautiful. Victor. Yeah, um, playing Carly Barrett, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't something I was unfamiliar with, but I mean, to dig into the story, I first started talking to Neville Aston, who played the father. Of, of the bass player and um, yeah we had a long conversation he showed me rare videos of Carly when he would talk or be playing um, I did my own research in terms of the music you know I started practicing immediately wow. took up my sticks starting going through the different songs um, yeah I mean both me and Savannah we got two weeks of acting classes mm -hmm. that kind of help us to kind of dig into the story mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. really dig into the story mm -hmm. and I mean because I'm a drummer too and I'm I know what it's like to be around great artists doing groundbreaking things mm. I kind of knew how to contribute yes you know what I mean yeah. and dig in that type of way um I practiced some of his gestures like the folding on the lips and because he had a high shoulder Okay. I don't really have a high shoulder. Right. I don't play with a high shoulder, but right. we have a high shoulder naturally. So you brought that, the, yeah, the, the yeah. Neck. And <laughs> yeah, you kind of nice. bring it to you know, so all of that <laughs> was yeah. something that I had to get used to. But you know, I just feel like when you're honest with art, yes. and when you approach it in a way where I'm, you know, I'm scared, but I'm excited, mm -hmm. it kind of opens you up to go into the dimension and be fully yeah. immersed. Yeah. So that's what I did, man. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Amazing stuff, man. I mean. If, if, if there was a an artist to, to personify positivity, it would. 
happy Bob Marley. Yeah. Yes. But what other positive thing can you say that you both took away from your specific roles that you played? Hmm. I, mean, I mean, I would say that, I don't know, just being a woman in that time and still taking up space, I think, is, is significant to me. Yeah. Um, especially now since we're still seeing a correction happening globally where women mm -hmm. are, are concerned. And so I, I just think that that's incredible that they could have been a part of history while still being completely feminine and, mm -hmm. you know, not necessarily leaning, leaning one way or the other, trying to be gotcha. anything other than themselves. Um, and also, I think that um, Judy Mott explained to me was that sisterhood meant, was really a, like a deep thing for her. Like, they really did lean on each other. Mm -hmm. The first time she sang with them, she said, it was incredible and they all kind of acknowledged it immediately. You know, when you do something and then you just look yeah, at somebody and say, there's a connection, yeah. Right, yeah. she said it with the harmony was just so tight and so yeah. beautiful and sweet. She knew that they were doing something meaningful. Yeah. And to, as Hector say, yeah, like to be part of purpose music, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, yeah. So that, that's, yeah. that's yeah. I mean, she was pregnant when she was on the stage after he got, got shot. So yeah. to go yeah. up on stage, be pregnant, but to still be so committed yes. and convicted of the purpose of someone else, yeah. where so much so that it becomes also yours is incredible to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah um, I would say the commitment even, you know, I say about the music, commitment is a positive thing that I took from it. They were really, they were really committed. I mean. I know people can't see musicians just doing what they, they're doing and having fun, but yeah. the late nights, you know what I mean, trying to get a song right, you know, it, yep. it, 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 it takes from It takes a lot. It takes, but, <clears throat> it takes work. Just before you responded, Hector, I saw Kingsley on screen. Right. Or Bob Marley, right? Yeah. So, you know, we had a few naysayers. Yeah. So we're going to ask you because you worked <laughs> closely yeah. with, with Kingsley during this time. So do you think he got the role right? How do you feel about that experience, Kingsley playing Bob Marley? Like I say, you know, when you're honest with art, yeah. um, you get to fully immerse in it, and that's what he did. Mm -hmm. And from that standpoint, I would say he definitely nailed it. Because even on set, um, he would make sure the room had the right pace and the right setting for us to carry it out. And I feel like even hearing him himself say he was challenged mm -hmm. is what helped him to go to the root of it. So I gave him a hundred, man. Nice. You know, he motivated nice. all of us. He led nice. us. Absolutely. He led us. He really led us. And so even that helped us to get in position and do what we hundred percent. And is it true that he sang all the songs <coughs> himself? Like that's his yeah, the voice. scenes that Good. you see, like yeah. um, <laughs> like the one where you see Eternal Life. So yeah. yeah, that's his voice. Good. That's cool. his voice. <laughs> Just clear I mean, I could hear it. I don't know it from like what anybody told me. I could hear that. Okay. That was his. Yes, yeah. they can hear. Yeah. Right, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, so, he yeah. took lessons for that. Yeah. All right, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. 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 What is it? What is it that you would want um, the viewers to take away from this movie? I mean, I couldn't dictate what they should take away, but I, this is a black story, right? Mm -hmm. This is a Jamaican story. This mm -hmm. is uh, honestly one of the biggest artists mm -hmm. in the world's yeah. story, and yeah. so I think all of those things need to be recognized and acknowledged. Mm -hmm. And then also to the message, why he did all of this, mm -hmm. right? Why he was traveling the world and why, what, what really was leading him, I think shouldn't be lost on people. But I do think it'll be personal for everybody, how right. they interpret, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it means gotcha. to them. Gotcha. I mean, I'd love for them to take away that the story is our story. I mean, he was one of us, yeah, Jamaica, and that level of resilience, we have it. Yeah. So when you see him deciding that no one that for the album art and not that, yeah, that's how we, mm -hmm. yeah. we should use that and connect with that because mm -hmm. even me as an artist, it impact me that yeah, way. Man. Where I was yeah. recording during the thing and I just decided say, yeah, this is what I want. I'm gonna stand on that. So yeah. let's take away that the resilience, the uplifting. We are strong yeah. people. Real thing. And Bob was just that. That yes. you know I mean? unapologetic. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. changed the yeah. world. All right, quickly, where, where, where can we find you on social media? Hector Roots Lewis, yeah. everywhere except for Twitter, it's Roots Lewis. Yeah, yeah you could search Call Me Savannah or just Savannah, S E V A N A. Yeah, yeah, I will find you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool so really, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, Thank man. you. Proud I appreciate of what you've that. done. And we know this has now opened some big opportunities, big and uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I really hope so. Yeah. I really hope it so. has, it has. It's speaking it's all for them. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah. I'm Thank looking you so forward much. to seeing the faces on screens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's a beautiful story. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, yeah man. If yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just for this, this story, mm. Yeah, we're for kind of Yeah, man. Well, where, did, where did it work? Where did it work, did you know? Work. Yeah. 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 Grammys, who knows? Hey. When Bob Marley who knows? Come on, yeah. one love coming. On that note, um, Bob Marley, one love opens on February 14th, so let's all go and support it. Mm -hmm. uh, Daytime Live will be right back, and when we come back, we have a game, so Jeez, stay tuned. Um, already? Yeah.